Welcome back to Houston Life, 4th of July, just a few days away. If a barbecue is part of your plans, you already know what you're cooking, but do you know what you're drinking? This is a very important question. Do not overlook the importance of the right <laughs> beer to take your party to the next level. I've already said it. If Justin Staple is coming over, he might judge you. Okay. So here with tips on picking the perfect beer for your 4th of July cookout, the head brewer from Project Halo Brewery in Fulcher, Melissa Mendez. Welcome to Houston Life, Melissa. Hi. It's so nice to meet <laughs> nice you. Nice you guys. Your son, Sean, is in studio. Shout out mm -hmm. to him. He designs all the labels for this beautiful beer. You and your husband started this together. Tell us the story about how it was born. Yeah, so um, we opened up in August of 2022. And uh, sorry. Um, and so, this is something that you guys had really worked on. Like you said, I'm going to go like take a class. I need to get this right. Yes, yes. I attended the West Texas A&M Professional Brewing and, Certificate and Fermentation Certificate Program. And just so I could learn the commercial side of it, because prior to that, I was just home brewing, and it's completely different. Uh, we moved to Texas in 2018 after we retired from the military. He was in the Army Special Forces, which is where we got our name from, HALO. HALO stands, it's an acronym for High Altitude Low Opening. And that's your husband on yes, the screen Yes, that right is there. Steve right there. We've been married for almost 18 years. Wow. wow. Well, he looks like uh, he's pretty hardcore there, <laughs> going on some crazy <laughs> missions. But while he's going on all these crazy missions, you're really keeping the family unit together mm -hmm. and you're working on this passion project. Yes. Was it always beer for you? Is this like something you've always been passionate about? Where did that come from? Yes, uh, craft beer. We were in Washington State prior to this and we had craft beer everywhere. Uh, so we just got into craft beer and that's how I started just tasting it and got into it. I think the home brewing aspect is so fascinating because I have friends, even family members who have done this. They've brewed it at home and there's a lot of trial and error. That's something you were doing as well. But at what point did you really take the leap and realize, hey, we're going to start a business. We're going all in. Around 2020, 2021, we were thinking like, let's just do it. Been home brewing for a while, been thinking of opening some sort of business and let's just go for it. Let's just jump into it. Wow. Now, are you from the community of Fulcher? Is that why you wanted to open it there? Why was Fulcher, um, is that part of your story? Uh, right outside of Fulcher. So we're right in the corner where Katie Fulcher meets okay. and we wanted something close to our house. Okay. Uh, so we're eight miles from Fulcher, from our brewery actually. Uh, so we just wanted to be nearby. Okay. Well, one of our producers, Christy, her husband is what you would call a beer snob. <laughs> and she says, if he likes it, then I go, okay, I, I know it's good. And he's a huge fan of this. And here's the thing. I may, I haven't tasted this yet, but we're going to start some of these tastings. The cans already immediately catch your eye. This first one is called Gatos Before Vatos, which tr loosely translates to cats before dudes, Garrett. <laughs> okay. A very important thing to remember when you're drinking beer and getting over an ex. Cats before dudes. <laughs> How, uh, where did the name ca yeah. come from? And also, Sean, your son was telling me during commercial break that this cat is based on your cat. Yes, that's uh, so most of the animals are based on our animals. Uh, so that's our black cat, Tommy. Uh, my husband likes to say that I like the cats more than I like him. So that's where it came from. There you go. I think a lot of husbands can relate to that sentiment, right? <laughs> Sometimes. This is, this is very, very good. So I, I know we're going to get to all these beers. The end one is a limited release, right? That yes. is not yet available. Correct. At the brewery. Is there a fan favorite? Uh, so that one, the Gatos Before Vatos, is one of the top sellers. Uh, mm. Actually, all of these are fan favorites. Okay, we're uh, trying next, that one next. I yes. just, I'm sorry, I want to grab this can. If I had an outfit, I mean, I'd be like, hey, <laughs> hey, did you read that? I'd post this on Instagram. What are you pouring for us there, Derek? Because the can is another animal. This is a dog with sunglasses, and it's super cute. Yeah, tell us the story about the dog. And also, uh, Melissa, at first pour, I can see this is a lot lighter than our first Yes, pour. that is a light lager. And uh, it's a summer beer. It's perfect for the pool. Uh, the dog is based on our, on our cool dog. He thinks he's super cool. Uh, he's... <laughs> He's awesome. <laughs> and so this is a, a blonde? That is a American Light Lager. American Light Lager. Mm -hmm. So this is truly like your light beer. Yes. It's really good. Yeah. It's really nice. This is delicious. Okay, the next one on the list, uh, this is sort of like a medium color. What's the story behind this one? That is our Blonde Ale. Frosted, Frosted Tips. tips. Uh, blonde Ale is my favorite, so I'm going to take the pint, Derek. You can have this. Thank <laughs> you. Go for I, it. This is <laughs> and it has a lot of flavors for Blonde Ale. It has big citrus notes to this one. Oh, wow. That's nice. And what's interesting, this is like a little milkier, a little creamier looking in this glass. Is that just because the bu bubbles haven't dissipated yet? Um, 
I'm not sure. <laughs> Maybe it's because I poured I think, it. Uh, <laughs> yes, I think that's what it is. Okay, Frosted Tips is a great name as well. Another great can design. And then what do we have at the end here? This is Frida. our cold IPA, Frida Forever. And the cold IPA is a very, very crispy IPA. So it's very refreshing, very easy to drink, uh, and it still has the bitterness of, uh, of an IPA. And it's so easy to drink that you kind of forget that it's a 7.5%. So you got to be careful with this one. Oh, It'll dear. sneak up on you. 7.5%. Okay. So definitely Uber. This is a great summer beer. And also, Frida, she never goes out of style. Mm -hmm. Iconic. Iconic. Okay, that one. That one's mm. got some zest to it. Okay, the 1824. This is delicious, by the way. 1824. Where can we get it and when? 1824, July 20th. We'll start pouring this beer at 2 p.m. And the first 100 customers who order this beer will receive a complimentary uh, bicentennial beer mug. Uh, this is to celebrate Fulcher's uh, bicentennial. Uh, so we came together to collaborate on this one. And some of the proceeds will go to a local organization. Oh, so, awesome. so Fulcher was founded in 1824. Yeah, actually, official realize. birthday is July 16th, 1824. All right, well, happy Cheers birthday, Fulcher. Melissa yeah. Mendez, congratulations. Project Halo, pay them a visit. It is delicious. It's phenomenal. Every single yeah. thing we tasted was perfect for summer. So congrats. Thank congrats. you. And say hi to your, your husband, too. Yeah. It was very, very cool. A lot of people during COVID, they had these ideas, and you actually pulled the trigger and went for it. So yes. Really cool. Congrats. Very, very nice. Thank you. Well, in the meantime, you can learn more about Project Halo Brewery and for details on that bicentennial celebration. Just look for that scene on Houston Life section of our website, HoustonLife.tv. Okay.